working in a kind of very subtle texture with alabaster, with marble, with stone. And, and we, were, we were dreaming to catch that in, in the glass, this kind of translucent effect that alabaster gave me normally in my pieces. And, and, and we got with Laura's hands, and that I think is the important moment. We really catch the most sensitive and, and special uh, details of Laura's skin and uh, the veins, the, the, the porosity, whatever, and then the, the, the special shape of her fingers. And, and when the piece are really in its right position, it really looks as she put the hands normally. It's a, it's a very moving piece. Glass has this uh, strange contradiction uh, because it's very heavy, but at the same time it's very fragile. Uh, you can get very an incredible mass of material, but continues to be translucent. Uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a material with plenty of contradictions that for me it relates pretty much with uh, the human body because a uh, uh, human body seems something extremely strong and, and fantastic, plenty of technology. But at the same time, we, we, we are very fragile as human beings. And I guess uh, uh, glass, it's, uh, I don't know, it, it looks sometimes a metaphor of humanity. When I'm talking about my work, I'm, I'm, I'm always talking about families of work. I, I have different directions uh, in, inside the same idea to work with uh, words, uh, letters, uh, different alphabets, but also related as a metaphor of uh, human beings that together they, they, they work as a group, as single letters are working together as uh, the possibility to, to create a war, text, culture, etc. Okay, this single letter that could be like a cell, it's the, the, one of the main projects that we are doing right now with Adriano here. Uh, we, are, we are casting very big curtains of poetry. Uh, I choose a poet that I'm using pretty often because I love him, which is William Blake. Mm -hmm. 